Talks. I'm Miss Rogstead and I am back with you again on April 23rd for another Unity Circle. This month we are focused on the core value of self-control. And one of the ways that we use self-control is by being a good listener. And so today's Community Circle is going to be all about using self-control to be good listeners. So we're going to start out by being good listeners and we are going to practice greeting our classmates or somebody in our home in another language. Today we are going to use the language French. French is a language that is from France. Many countries in Africa speak French as well as island countries. It's a language used in a lot of different places. And today we're going to practice greeting each other in French. So we're going to practice our self-control and listening. And I want you to listen to how I say hello. In French, the way that we say hello is bonjour. You try it. Bonjour. Go ahead and greet somebody next to you in your class or at home practicing using your French. Bonjour. I'm so glad that you're here. Today, like I said, we're focusing on listening. And so for our sharing time today, I am going to share a story with you that is one of my favorite stories. I know I have some friends in this building who have also read this book before, and I think they like it too. One of the reasons that I love this book, besides the fact that it has a great lesson, is that the main character in this story has a hilarious name. The main character in this book is a rabbit, and this rabbit's name is Howard B. Wigglebottom. His last name's Wigglebottom. Can you believe it? So this story is called Howard B. Wigglebottom learns to listen and I can't wait to share it with you. Shall we dive in? Here we go. All right. This book was written by Anna um, Howard Binkow. And so this book was written and we get to read it. You ready? Here we go. Meet Howard B. Wigglebottom. Howard is always in trouble at school because, well, he just doesn't listen. During story time, instead of quietly listening, Howard bounces around the room. Howard B. Wigglebottom, please sit down. Be quiet and listen. But Howard doesn't listen. Howard B. Wigglebottom, you are bouncing too close to the fan. But Howard doesn't listen. Look at what happened to his ears because he wasn't listening. No. Oh. Hey, Howard, watch your step. At lunchtime, his friends tried to warn him, but Howard didn't listen. At lunch, Howard's friend tries to tell him something important. Blah, 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 blah. But Howard doesn't listen. No, he wasn't paying attention and now his yo-yo is wrapped around her nose. Keep your eye on the ball, Howard. On the playground, Howard's teammates try to help him. But Howard doesn't listen. Boink. No. In the art room, the teacher reminds the class, kids, try to keep the paint on your paper. But Howard doesn't listen. So the teacher asks him to take a time out. Hmm, I wonder how his friend's feeling right now. Howard's listening. Seems like it's also affecting some other people. He feels sad. Howard does not like being alone and in trouble, and he thinks and thinks about his day, and he makes up his mind. From that moment on, he will try very hard to be the best listener he can be. The next day, Howard does listen during story time. He waits for his turn to talk and then asks a question about the story. Good job, Howard. Howard gets a big 
gold star because he is really listening. While walking home, Howard uses both of his eyes and his ears to help him stay safe. Howard is really listening. Please hang up your backpack and clean up your room now. When Howard gets home, he listens to his mother. Okay, Mom, Howard is really listening. Awesome ears, Howard. So Howard gets extra time to play and have fun. Time for a bedtime story. Please brush your teeth first, Howard. Howard B. Wigglebottom is really listening almost all of the time. Yeah, oh my goodness. In this story, we see at the beginning that Howard is not listening to his teachers. He is not listening to his friends. He's not listening to his teammates. And it's causing a whole bunch of problems. And in a lot of those situations, his friends or adults are trying to help him out. And because he doesn't listen, he gets hurt or he hurts somebody else. It's a really bad, bad situation. But then, once Howard starts to listen, what did you notice? How do you think his friends felt when he started listening to them? I also learned from this book that we use our eyes and our ears to listen. Howard was watching to be safe and listening for instructions, and so he was able to cross the street safely. When Howard started to listen, things started to change for him. I want you to take a second and share with your classmates, or you can share with me in Seesaw, how do things change once Howard starts to listen? I could see a change. I wonder if you can too. I love that book. Thanks for reading with me. It's time for us to do our activity. And today for our activity, since we're all about practicing self-control and listening, we're gonna play one of my most favorite games. And if you have known Miss Rogstead for a while, you probably know that this is one of my most favorite games. I'm wondering how many of you have ever played Sneaky Statues? Have you heard of it? I love this game, it's so much fun. So today, I'm gonna play Sneaky Statues with you and we're gonna change it just a little bit since school looks a little different this year. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is stand up right where you are behind your desk, or if you're at home, you can stand up right where your computer is. And here's how this game is gonna work. I'm gonna say go, and I'm going to cover my eyes. And you can move and dance however you want. And as soon as I uncover my eyes, eyes you have to freeze and act like a statue and statues don't move so whatever you are doing when I uncover my eyes you have to freeze in that pose and you have to hold it until I cover my eyes again so as long as my eyes are uncovered you can't move you're frozen like a statue and then you get to move and then I'm gonna uncover my eyes and you have to freeze again you ready Okay, here we go. Get ready to make some moves. You're standing right by your desk and freeze. Woo! I see a lot of self-control right now. You're being great listeners. Should we try it again? Okay, here we go. I'm covering my eyes. Go! And freeze. Oh, I almost caught somebody that time, but I think you're being very, very good listeners. Let's do it one more time. I think I might be able to catch somebody this time. What do you think? Ready? Okay, I'm covering my eyes. Move. And freeze. Nice job showing self-control. I am so glad that you were able to listen and follow directions. Now, why don't you go ahead and have a seat and let's look at our morning message together. All right, will you read with me? Our message today says, April 23rd, 2021. Dear Hallett Hawks, thank you for being here today. You make Hallett a better place. Let's all practice self-control this week. Remember Howard B. Wigglebottom? We can all practice and get better at self-control, just like he did. 
You are so important and loved. Have a wonderful weekend. Love, Miss Rogstead. We love you all so much. See you next week.